Hello, child of God. I hope you are fine. Good morning. Today, in our gospel reading, which is taken from Matthew chapter 1, from verses 1 to 17, we read about the Lord's genealogy. And I remember as a kid, one of the things that I used to, uh, I didn't like a lot, was when you went to Mass and you, begin to, and you began to hear the priest reading, Joseph was the son of David, Judah, Judah was the son of that, and that was the son of that, until you get to David, until you get to Abraham. And I'm like, why are we reading all of that? It's long and it's boring. So, child of God, I think the main reason why we read this is that God wants to tell us that our salvation family, our salvation history is very similar to our biological families. So, if you listen and attentively look at those persons who have been mentioned in in the, in the genealogy of Jesus, you find that there are people like you. That there is David, who was an adulterer. There is Solomon, who was an idolater. There is Ruth, who was a foreign woman. And there is Thomas, who, uh, who, who at a point in her life was a prostitute. So what this tells us is that if you have terrible members in your family, if you have difficult members of your family, it's normal. No family is perfect. I mean, I have the privilege to know a lot of families and to listen to family problems of different families. And I can tell you, I can tell you very confidently that if you think your family is bad, you haven't seen anything yet. If you see the problems of other families, you will thank God for the kind of family that he has given to you. So basically the point I think that the Lord is making to us in sharing his own family history with us is to let us know that even himself had an imperfect family and that it's possible to still achieve everything that God has called you to achieve even though you are from an imperfect family. So here are two things I'd like to share with you in addition to the first thing I just shared which is that Jesus Christ himself was from uh, an imperfect family that you too can make everything you want of your life, you can fulfill your vocation in life even though your family is imperfect. So the other two things I want to share with you is how can you make this happen? We find this in the first reading of this morning. The first reading is taken from Genesis chapter 49, from verses 1 to 10. In that reading, Jacob calls his sons together. And the first thing he does is that he establishes the place of each member of the family, telling them that Judah, of course, you know that Jesus is from the, is a descendant of Judah, that Judah is going to rule over all of you. No one is going to remove the scepter of justice from his hand. So child of God, if you have a family and you want things to work, it's important to let everyone know their place in your life. If you're a father or you're a mother, it's important to delegate roles, to, div- to give roles to your kids. Let them know what exactly they're supposed to do and let them know when they're doing it well. All right. So that's the first thing that uh, Jacob does. He assigns to every one of his sons their roles. Remember, he also did it with Joseph before. I mean, this is Genesis chapter 49. In Genesis chapter 47, previously you remember that he also did sim- something similar with Joseph, establishing him as the ruler over his brothers, as the, as, the, as, the, uh, as the beloved child over his brothers. My point here is it's important that you give out rules to your children in the family so that everyone knows his or her place. And the second thing that Jacob says is that come together. He tells his children, come together. The job of a father or a mother is to bring everyone in the family together. Don't be the divisive figure in your family. So if you are a member of any family, your role is to bring people together. Do your best to bring people together. No family is perfect. Keep working at it until you get it. All right. And the last and, and the third and final thing I'd like to share with you is what Jacob also says to his sons. He says, listen, listen, listen. You know, for, for any family to work together, there has to be someone who is listening. Everyone can be talking at the same time. It's important to really listen to each other. You know, listening is not just the same thing as hearing. You know, you can hear a sound and not pay attention. Listening means paying attention to each other, paying attention to one another, trying to find out what's in the mind of the other person and trying as much as is possible to respond to what you have heard. So this is what I think that the Lord is telling us this morning. Jesus is coming in a few days at Christmas. Know that he's going to come into a family that's imperfect. Because often when we talk about the family of Jesus, we think about Jesus, Mary and Joseph, perfect people. But today, Matthew deliberately shows us the ancestry of Jesus to tell us and to remind us that Jesus also had an imperfect ancestry. And that if you also are from an imperfect family, it is still possible for you to achieve everything that God has put in your heart. I pray the Almighty God will bless and keep you today, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.